Hello everyone, I'm in Budapest and I'm here for a Ziget music festival. This is going to be by far the longest music festival I've ever attended because it lasts for six days, which is insane. And the lineup this year is incredible. It's the first day and um, the artists that I'm waiting for the most today are Florence and the Machine will be my second time seeing her live. She's a bomb. False and Bonobo, Bonobo, my love. Bonobo, I've seen him in December and well, I cannot get enough of Bonobo because I listen to his music almost every day. Let me quickly show you the Airbnb that I'm in. If I would go walking there, it would take me an hour, um, whereas public transportation should be around half hour. Lovely Airbnb, the hosts are incredibly kind and flexible. Let's get ready. As you might guess, my look was inspired by Florence and the Machine and her performance. I've actually never worn this dress to a festival. False performance. It's wow, it's it was fire. These guys, they have an insane amount of energy. The front man was just growling a lot, like, oh, and he has the skills to do it live. That's not for everyone. And um, really, really enjoyed their performance. All the payments are made cashless. You can either charge your bracelet, where is it, the plastic thingy or actually pay just contactless with your Apple Pay or Google Pay. Florence and the Machine Live was incredible. The way she gives energy to the crowd and then reminds us about the most important values of our lives uh, is just it's so sweet and uh, human and artistic and just... I'm not the biggest fan but I do appreciate um, the energy and the talent. Now heading to see Bonobo. I'm 
again. Third time in Sydney, this festival is incredible. It's so good to be back at Budapest. Missed you guys. What an epic ending to the first day. Bonobo gave a lip-biting performance. Um, it was very, very dancey in comparison to the concert that I went to in Milan. Um, it was, I, I believe, adapted it a little bit to the fact that it was a festival and uh, I had a possibility to go under the stage uh, at the beginning of the performance and that was an incredible emotion um, to take some videos for you guys. The festival territory is very rich in activities and stages. I honestly try to, uh, they have an app and uh, there is an interactive map where you can track where you are and where you need to go and like timings and schedule of the performances. And I try to count the amount of stages that they have. And um, to be honest, they listed also like some of just activities areas. So it's not exactly the stage, but I counted over 20 of them, of which I believe at least 10 to 15 were stages. I'm not even sure. Tomorrow I will dedicate more time to um, learning more about the territory of the festival and what you can do there. Bonobo is definitely in my top list of artists I would love to interview. Um, this time it was my fourth, I believe, concert that I've seen and uh, I'm definitely a fan, <laughs> if you couldn't tell already. Language-wise at the festival I heard a lot of British accent, Italian language, and uh, also Russian, which is, you know, at other festivals doesn't happen so often, uh, the ones that I've been to, obviously. It was incredibly sweet when I saw the poster of uh, woman who said uh, you saved my life to Bonobo in first row something I can definitely relate to not regarding Bonobo in particular but generally how music affects and improves and helps our mental health definitely an important thing to emphasize talk about and I'm glad that she wrote it I hope he saw it I, I mean I hope he did Good night, I'll see you tomorrow.